Thank you for joining us. My name is Savannah Sibley. I'm the Volunteer Engagement and Events Manager at United Way of Southern Nevada. Thank you to everyone for tuning in to our UWSN Day of Caring Project Grand Opening. For those of you who don't know, Day of Caring is United Way of Southern Nevada's one day volunteer event. It is our largest community day for volunteering, bringing together not only the volunteers across Southern Nevada, just to make a difference, but to help those local nonprofits, the schools and the local community organizations. Dur during COVID-19, as you can all imagine, I'm sure, we found new ways to show each other that we care. Checking in with neighbors, delivering food to friends, how about even connecting virtually with your family? Now it's that time of the year to show your caring spirit for the nonprofits and community organizations that have not only supported hundreds of thousands of Southern Nevadas through this pandemic. I would like to introduce to you Marissa Govin, our VP of Strategy and Projects to explain what Day of Caring is. Thank you, Savannah. Uh, so many of our partner organizations depend on volunteers to keep their doors open and continue their vital services on the front lines to help Southern Nevada. We decided early on in the pandemic to use our resources for this essential need to connect volunteers to meet the growing demand in our community. And essentially, we're acting as a matchmaker for volunteers and for the local nonprofits. And we're doing this through our Volunteer Connect platform. So you can sign up to volunteer at volunteer.uwsn.org. We've also helped create programs that supported Youth Southern Nevada's in need by providing volunteers, and this includes delivering with dignity. As one of the five founding partners in this program, we helped recruit volunteers to deliver meals to those most at risk of contracting COVID-19 if they left their homes. And we're keeping the support going through by hosting our fifth annual United Way of Southern Nevada Day of Caring on October 2nd, 2020. Woo woo. Uh, last year, we had over 1,100 volunteers complete 52 projects at 35 organizations and schools throughout Southern Nevada. So this volunteer support meant that organizations were able to complete projects that might not have been finished or even started. And this is with the help of volunteers, just like you. Uh, volunteers spend the day painting mur murals, cleaning up parks, reading to students, serving meals, uh, packing kits, and so much more. And now in today's reality, we're looking at expanding these projects and encouraging organizations to submit projects that can be done in person or virtually with large groups or small, even individuals can come on. Uh, if you have a task that you need help with to keep your organization running, submit it as a United Way of Southern Nevada Day of Caring project, right? And with all of these, as, as sponsors and as volunteers, NV Energy is supporting our nonprofit community and helping Southern Nevada succeed. So here to share about NV Energy support of Day of Caring and United Way of Southern Nevada is Angel Williams. Hi, Angel, and welcome. Hi, everyone. Thanks for inviting me. Of course. Thank you for joining. Do you mind telling us more about Envy Energy's involvement with United Way of Southern Nevada? Happy to. Envy Energy and United Way have been longtime partners. Uh, in fact, uh, Envy Energy um, is one of United Way of Southern Nevada's largest employee workplace giving campaigns, with well over 50% of our employees engaged in giving. Um, and making charitable investments out into the community. United Way is a great partner for us. It allows us to get our employees engaged in volunteering. And United Way also provides um, a critical support to us by administering our Project REACH energy assistance. United Way helps us get over half a million dollars out into the community each year uh, to income qualifying individuals that are in need of that energy assistance. So it's a long and extensive partnership and we're just grateful to be partnered. Thank you for that information. And what does it mean to you to be a sponsor of Southern Nevada's largest volunteer event? Envy Energy employees love to volunteer. Uh, it's one of our core values here. As a matter of fact, last year, Envy Energy employees uh, completed 40,000 hours of volunteer service out into the community, and that was statewide. 
Um, and employees are great at finding you know, the cause that they care about. Um, but supporting day of caring for NV Energy, it really means that we can get more employees engaged in volunteering and we can bring volume to this large community event. When you can scale an event like day of caring, what you're really able to do is help drive awareness for the work that nonprofits are doing, the need in our community, and just what it means, right? That giving human spirit to be able to go out and volunteer um, and, and be in service with other folks and be in service to each other for our community. Absolutely. And do you mind telling us more about your UWSN Day of Caring experience from last year? Yeah, we were very excited to volunteer with Project DOT. Um, we were able to rally um, a group of employees that helped assemble feminine hygiene packages for Project DOT. Um, but I think even more than just the act of assembling and, and supporting the organization to get these hygiene kits out, the awareness that it created with our employees, they really didn't, I think, have an understanding of what low income or homeless women have to deal with in accessing feminine hygiene products. And so not only was it great to be in service with Project DOT, but it was great to, for our employees to learn more about that critical need. And what are you looking forward to about this year's UWSN Day of Caring? Since the pandemic, it seems that we're all, you know, uh, connecting virtually just like this. And I miss and crave the days when, you know, we could do it in person. And so um, lately, NV Energy has been able to find ways that our employees can safely volunteer in the community. Of course, we're doing a lot virtually, but personally, what I'm looking forward to the most, and I know a lot of our employees are looking forward to, is actually being able to be in person still be protected, still be socially distanced and safe, but we're just really looking forward to being out on that day collectively with our community in person, uh, in service. So really looking forward to it this year. Well, thank you, Angel, so much. And thank you for sharing. And we truly, truly appreciate NV Energy's support for our community as volunteers of UWSN Day of Caring. And as Angel did uh, already say, they have volunteered in uh, several inspiring UWSN Day of Caring projects, but one nonprofit is Project DOT. So lucky for me, I have the founders here, Lindsay and Zoe, with Project DOT, and they are going to share more about their organization, as well as how they are improving our community through their UWSN Day of Caring projects this year. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Zoe. How are you? Hi, we're great. Thank you for having us here. This is a great opportunity for us to talk about. Of this. course. Well, I have a few questions. Lindsay, I'll start with you for the first one. Do you mind telling us more about your uh, Project Dot organization? Of course. So Project Dot is a nonprofit organization. Um, Zoe and I started it when we were about 15 years old. And um, we have been volunteering with a, a mother-daughter organization for quite a while, um, and we noticed, you know, a lot of strange situations like women um, going, mainly women going to these kitchens for homeless feeding, um, and, you know, we really had that drive to really start something, um, and, you know, we originally came up with an idea like, okay, let's do veterans and homeless. Well, you might as well just volunteer at that point because everyone's doing that. So we were like, okay, let's come up with something new. And that's what we did. And we kind of, through our research, found a lot of problems when it comes to feminine hygiene. Um, so we put two and two together and you know, we created Project Dot, which is crazy because we've expanded so far and it's just great knowing that we are able to give women these, all these feminine hygiene products because they are considered a luxury item and you can't buy food stamps. And you know, when you're on the streets carrying boxes and all that isn't really practical. It's very, you know, drag, you know, you can't really go anywhere with it and you can't do a whole lot with it. So um, doing Project Dot really just helps um, to lighten a girl's day and just help out the community in general. That is truly amazing. Thank you for explaining that. And Zoe, do you mind telling us about your UWSN Day of Caring experience from last year? Of course. Um, we were so overwhelmed with the support we received from the volunteers from all over, including quite a few from NV Energy. Um, the volunteers were very eager to roll their sleeves and build our kits, and even more once we explained why these kits were so important. We set up a simple production line um, 
where the volunteers put each item into a um, decorative bag. They were so fast and efficient, we even finished a bit early. So that's why we're opening up even more spots for this year's event and hope to nearly double the number of kits we made last year. Wow, that's so exciting. And Lindsay, what projects will Project DOT be hosting this year? So we'll be hosting two events. The first one, uh, we're in social distancing because we are in a pandemic. Uh, we'll, we'll be hopefully building kits just like this one um, with all the supplies in it. Um, hopefully we'll be able to make 800 uh, Project DOT kits, hopefully, so we can get them as, out as soon as possible because with you know pandemic, people being unemployed, again, such a big need. Um, and our second event will be a virtual volunteering event where everyone can make feminine hygiene kits from, you know, the office, um, the comfort of your home, and we will be making it like a Zoom event for that. So, you know, you can attend it and you can learn how we build the kits, um, and then you guys can drop them off where we are located. I can't wait for October 2nd. But Zoe, do you mind telling us what it means to you to have the support from our community of Southern Nevada through this difficult time? Yeah, of course. Um, period poverty is something that everyone should be concerned about. This isn't just an issue that happens in third world countries like Africa and India. It's happening right here in Las Vegas. When people volunteer with Project DOT and support our mission, it shows that they want to make an impact in our community. A Project DOT kit can mean the difference between going to school and learning or staying home and falling behind in school. Our volunteers truly are changing lives for women and girls in Las Vegas. Well, thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Zoe. And thank you to Project DOT. I know your words have inspired other nonprofits to submit their projects to join us for our UWSN Day of Caring. And I know for 2020, Day of Caring might look a bit different, but we are welcoming all projects, whether it's virtual, in person. We encourage you to find your projects that help your organization with your work. Uh, some examples, like Project Dot said, they have virtual high get, high, excuse me, hygiene kit building, as well as in-person, which will be held at UWSN. There's also gonna be virtual handcrafted greeting cards, delivering food, helping with food pantries, and so much more. So please um, join us. But as you know, the in-person projects will follow all protocol of COVID-19. They will be wearing face coverings and social distancing. But again, whether it's a large beautification or a small just day-to-day -day, everyday task, there's always a volunteer that's out there that is willing to help. This year, volunteers, you will register on our Volunteer Connect and all agencies as well, you will register on Volunteer Connect as well. And you will even have full access to all the volunteers that register for your project. Uh, the, the great thing about this is even after a UWSN Day of Caring, you can also stay connected with our Volunteer Connect and post all your volunteer opportunities throughout the year. Isn't that amazing? I mean, who wouldn't want that? Um, I know you're all getting excited. So again, I just want to reiterate, uh, volunteers, please visit uwsn.org slash caring to complete your UWSN Day of Caring Interest Form. Agencies, head over to uwsn.org slash 2020 caring to submit your project ideas for UWSN Day of Caring 2020. And again, thank you to Angel, Lindsay, Zoe, Envy Energy, Project Dot. Thank you to Marissa and all of uh, United Way of Southern Nevada's staff and everyone for tuning in. And we look forward to seeing you on October 2nd.